So, hey YouTube, this is Mommy Wannabe, of course, um, here with a update on Cycle Day 26, because my cycle normally starts on Cycle Day 27, so today I spoke with the doctor, finally. Um, she called me to talk about my bicornered uterus, and um, I had a few questions for her. I couldn't really talk because I'm at work, and if I look tired, it's because I had a long day at work, and I'm actually still at work. I'm about to... Um, print some x-rays so before I printed them I just <laughs> wanted to come and do this little update or something <laughs> so um yeah so she talks about my bicornered uterus and she still sound like you know it's okay to have it is a birth defect but um it's not like you know you can't get pregnant with the bicornered uterus and it's and you know she said that more than likely I would probably just have like a preterm labor which just means that the baby may come early. And I hope that, you know, in that case, it's not, like, too early, you know, like a miscarriage or something or, like, just way too early for the baby to survive. So, yeah, she said that um, my uterus is completely split down the middle, um, but both my uteruses are connected to my cervix. So that's a good thing. It's not like I have two cervix. I just have one cervix with both uterus connected to that one cervix so and then she also said that if I'm ovulating from one side and you know she said my tubes are open my tubes seem to be fine um, but if if I ovulate on one side and you know it's seeming going that way and it's seeming going that way um, you know that probably is another reason why it's being why it's so hard for us to conceive because you know not all the semen is going and getting to where it needs to go I guess you know it's kind of like splitting and I don't know um, but um, I asked her about my PCOS and she said that looking at my right circle I mean looking at my right ovary I did have 19 follicles growing but that doesn't mean that that was PCOS and I mean it's not like you know I have this like very bad PCOS is what she said um she said that she really is not really that's not really concerning her because with my age and you know I'm not hairy or something she said and I'm not overweight and my cycles are so regular like they I know when they're coming um and I have a feeling that it's coming this month. I mean, of course, I'm hopeful that there's something in there, but I just have a feeling that um, it is going to come this month because I think I told you guys in my last video that I did take a pregnancy test on Monday, and it is Thursday. And she said if it doesn't come by Saturday, go ahead and take another pregnancy test and see, um, you know, and just hope for the best. So hopefully it doesn't come tomorrow and then I'll wake up Saturday morning and take a pregnancy test and it will say positive. So I'm going to say positive. Um, what else did she say? Um, they want to retest my husband's semen. Excuse me. They want to retest that, of course. Um, and I asked her about the motility and um, if by me staying elevated, does that help? Um, she said it does help, but not like... It wouldn't be as effective as just doing an IUI. And, you know, sometimes I just feel like, you know, doctors, they just kind of are money suckers. And I don't want to feel that way about my doctor. And I don't know. I mean, I know she just wants the best for all her patients. Oh, I asked her about my bicornered uterus and is it a septum, I think is what it's called. And she said, absolutely not. It's not a septum. You definitely have a bicornered uterus and that... Her office is where other doctors' office send their patients to get confirmation of if it's a bicornered uterus or a septum. So um, I'm kind of confident on that, that, you know, it is a bicornered uterus and not a septum. I hope I'm saying it right. If I'm not, I'll put it down below so you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Because I did read some information online that says if you have been diagnosed with a bicornate uterus that you do want to make sure that that's what it is and not a septum because a septum can be removed through surgery. And you know, bicornate uterus is just something that you've had all your life. I'm happy that we found out that I have this bicornate uterus before we, I guess, had a miscarriage. Um, but I'm not claiming any miscarriages. I'm not claiming them at all, you know. It's funny, I, th I probably said this in a video before, um, that... 
I've always prayed to God that he healed my body from any miscarriages. And that was before I found out we had that I had a bicornate uterus. So, you know, hopefully, well, I have faith. I know that my God is healing my body and that we will, you know, conceive at some point in time. So, yes, I'm on cycle day 26. Um, I'll come back and hopefully and maybe do a video let you guys know what we what we will be doing differently next cycle I think I already recorded that video I don't know if I did then I won't come back with that video if I did and then I'll come back next, on another video to let you guys know what I'll be doing next cycle a little differently um, to hopefully give us hope so oh and also today I went to go pick up my second prescription of Clomid because you know my cycle is supposed to start tomorrow and it's about to be the weekend and I didn't want to wait till Monday to call my doctor's office and say hey my cycle has started uh, it already started so I don't want to miss the chance of being able to take my Clomid so I just went ahead and picked that up today um just in case you know I'm not pregnant so I am about to go and finish working. I hope you guys had a great day, um, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.